In this walkthrough, we'll be focusing again on our on our. In this walkthrough, we'll be focusing on the uh, landing gear assembly. Uh, in this walkthrough, we'll be focusing on another component from the landing gear assembly, and this time it will be this component here, our upper link. So again, we'll walk you through how you can go about generating this component. So let's head on over and start a new part. Okay, so before we head over to Creo, again, we're going to evaluate our upper link components, see kind of what, what shapes we're going to need to generate in order to make this part. Okay, so it, it looks a little bit complicated to start with, but, but if we break it down, um, it, sh it should seem a bit less daunting. Okay, so, so when I come to deal with a component like this, I think I'm drawn to this top view. Okay, so if I can generate an outline for this shape, okay, uh, these cutouts can easily be added, you know, afterwards. So we can get a general outline for this shape here. The nice thing about this part as well is that it's actually symmetrical. So we don't really need to model all of it. So when I go into the CAD, what I'm going to try and do is generate this shape here. So if I go here like this, can make that shape very easily, okay, just using the line tool. Okay, it's all it's all kind of it's all dimensioned up fairly well for me. I know the distance from here to here is going to be seven. Okay, so we've got the 14 there, but that's going to be seven just there. And and then I can I can come and do these cutouts afterwards. So I could start with a basic shape like that. We can worry about the cutouts after. And then once we get that, we need to extrude it out. Okay, so how far do we extrude it? Doesn't really matter to be honest, because we're going to have to cut the side profile out. So if we have a look at it from the side, let me just change my tool a second. Yeah, so let's go back here. So let's have a look. So if we have a look at the side profile now, once I've extruded this, I can extrude it out to whatever, maybe I'll extrude it to about five because the thickest point here is what, 4.75. And then all I really need to do is generate this shape here. So this kind of cutout shape around there. So that, could sh that should be fairly straightforward. I've got a whole a circle there, a circle there. And then, okay, it tells me that the angle for this section is 2.5. So yeah, I can draw a circle, draw a circle. And then what I'll do is, because I'm gonna to want to cut away this material, I'll probably have to draw a box all around it so that it cuts away any excess that I had from this first extrusion, okay? There's lots of ways you could do it. You could start on this plane and then cut that one second, but I think I'm gonna go with this approach for this component, I think. And we'll see how that works. And then it will just be a case of going around and making all the cutouts that I need at, like as secondary features. Okay, so there should be two major sketches for this component. So let's head over and, and have a look and see how, the, how that works out. Okay, guys, let's head on over and, and uh, load up Creo Parametric to make the uplink component. So we're going to just load up Creo. Again, we just go down to PTC, Creo Parametric. Okay, we can get rid of this resource center. <laughs> Let's set our working directory so we don't lose our files. And then we're gonna go new, part, and engd004. Remember to untick the default template, uh, click OK. And then we want millimeters, newtons, part solid. Where have we got nanometers, part solid. There we go, abs. OK, so to start with this shape, I need to generate an, an outline of the top view. OK, so let's start by clicking on this top plane here and go into sketch and then sketch view. And so this shape needs to be done using our line tool. Okay, so 
I'm just going to click on line and start out with a main outline for the body. Okay, so we've got there to there. Okay, and then we need to work out what this distance is. So it's going to be 21. So what you can do in here, if I double click, I can go 21.5 plus, so it's half of that diameter, so it's plus two, plus um, 4.75, so 4.75 divided by two. Okay, so 28, 25.88. So you can do basic math when you're, you know, trying to add up what the distance is for your dimensions should be. Um, so I've got that length. Now I can just go here. So that distance should be seven. Let me go down here. So that needs to be eight. Okay, so remember with the line tool, we click and then we click again and then you press the middle mouse button to stop. Um, so we're going to click there, there to there. Right then, so I need this dimension to be 1.5. And you can see here, so it's, it's giving me the wrong dimension here. So I can override them. So if I click on the dimension tool and click on this base click where I'd like to dimension to, so this point, and then press the middle mouse button. You can see that it gives me the dimension that I want now. So press the middle mouse button again to come out of the tool, change that, so that should be six. Right. So we've got, let's just move that out of the way there. So six, eight, seven, yeah, so that's given me the basic outline for the top profile of this shape. I'm going to mirror it later, so I'm just doing half of it now. So I'm going to click OK. And what shall we do? It doesn't matter how high shall we extrude it. Let's go extrusion. We're going to change this to a symmetrical extrusion. And this is going to be, let's change it to five. Yeah, let's change it to five. Okay, and then click OK. So I've got the basic outline for this sorted at the moment. So from the top, it's sorted. Now we just need to sort the side profile out. Okay, so now we just need to sketch the side profile. So I'm going to click on this plane, go sketch, sketch view. Okay, so what ways around is it? Okay, it's looking good for me at the moment. So I need to do my drawing here. So I'm going to set it up on this section. So I'm going to do a circle there. And then I've got to put another circle just here. So I've made them tangent to those edges. So I can just set this as four. Set this one as 4.75. Okay. And I know that, okay, so I know that there's an angle of 2.5 that needs to be drawn. So the, the lines go like this, don't they? So, and then they're tangent with this face. So I'm going to click line. I'm just going to put it in here somewhere. I don't want to snap to anything. Just make it tangent like that. Okay. And then we're going to add a new dimension. So I'm going to click on dimension there to there. So that angle should be 2.5. Okay, that's good. And then we can basically mirror this. So if I click on this line, click mirror, then click on this reference line, I can mirror it the other side to get it to be the same. Uh, so now we just need to use the trimming tool to delete sections from this. Uh, let's just check the dimensions actually before I do that. I want to click on this reference dimension. I want to click there to there and press the middle mouse button. I'm just checking that it matches the engineering drawing. So that does. So it's 21.5. That means that, that we didn't make a mistake earlier on, which is always a good sign. So if I click delete segment, just delete the bits that we don't need. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. 
that, that, or that, 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 or that, or that. Okay, I don't need that bit. That bit also. Okay. And so if I middle click, so this will extrude this section here. Now, this isn't actually what I want. I would like to remove the areas outside of this sketch. So that's quite easy to do. If I just use a rectangle now, I can just draw a rectangle around this and you'll see it changes it. So now it will leave this section and then remove this pink section for me, which is which will then give me the profile that I need from the engineering drawing. Okay, so I'm going to add another circle. I'm going to click OK before I do anything else, actually. And then we're just going to extrude that. Okay, so it's trying to add the material. Let's flip the direction, click Remove. And you can see what it's done now is it's, it's cut away the material and given us that profile, that side profile that we need. Okay, and click OK. And then we're going to go and add the round in here. So there's a round in this section that's 3.5. So let's add that in now. There. Press control, get the other side and change that to 3.5. That's good. Um, there are some other 3.5 rounds as well. So there's a round here that's 3.5 and this one's 3.5 also. So we're going to click OK. We've got that set up nicely. So what do we need to do now? It's really just the cutouts. So we've got the cutouts in the middle and then the holes that need to be cut out into it. So let's do the holes. So we've got on this face here, go sketch, sketch view. So I want to pick up on this edge here so that I can be on the center of the, of the circle. So we can add extra references. You see these blue dashed lines, these are known as references. So if I click on reference, click on this edge, you can see that now it shows me the center of that circle. And I can do the same here as well. So I'm gonna add those. And then now that will be easy for me to pick up on. So the diameter of these holes is 1.5, both of them. So we can just draw a circle. If we draw a circle here, you'll see at some point when I move my, um, mouse, you get this equal sign. That means that they'll be equal diameter and I actually want them to be. So I'm going to accept that and press the middle mouse button. And then we only have to change the diameter for one of them and they both will update. That's okay. I'm going to extrude these. Let's flip the direction and you can see that it's removing the material for me. If it doesn't remove it for you, just click the remove material button at the top there. Okay. So we've got that, and then what we need to do is the cutouts for this part. So I'm going to click on this face, go sketch, sketch view. Now it's flipped it around the other way, but it's, it's not the end of the world. We can work in that orientation. I'm just going to use the line tool now. So we'll go here. Actually, let's do a different way. Let's use the offset tool. So there's an offset tool here. So I'm going to click on this face and you can click and you can see that it's offsetting that edge. So that offset should be two here. So if I type two, there you go, that's offset that by two. And then this edge here needs to be offset. So I'm just going to click here and then we can do this one as well. So you see it's the opposite direction. What I need to do is just click minus two in there. Okay, so that should be minus two. That makes sense. Click OK, so we'll accept those. What else? So there's a bit of a brace that comes along here. So we'll add a line for that. And the distance for this line is from there on the drawing. So I need to add it there to there. That should be six. Okay, so we can add dimensions in. If we don't get the dimension that we want, we can add it in. And then we can add another line just here. Let's make it the same. So that distance should be two between them. Okay. 
now it's just a case of using the trim tool. So let's get rid of some of these bits we don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Need that and that. Don't need that. And then we'll use the line tool to join this all up. So there, there, to there. And then we go there, to there. You see I've got a bit of an issue here. You see that little red dot? It means that they're not joined up. Um, so if you get this kind of issue, you can use the corner tool. So click on corner, click that line, click that line, and it joins them up for us. And you see it's shaded in. So remember, bear in mind the shading. It's very important. So we're happy with that. Click OK. And now we just need to use an extrusion again. So we need to go symmetrically. We need to remove the material. OK. Looking good. And so now I've only modeled half of this. So what do I need to do? I need to mirror it. So in order to mirror it, if I click on the part, click on mirror. So I click on the part in the model tree, click mirror, click a plane to mirror it through. And you can see it's got both sides now. And to finish this off, we've just got some internal radiuses. So inside radiuses are 1.5 for this component. Okay, so let's go round, 1.5, so there's going to be one just there, 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 and there, and there. Okay. I think we're there. Let's hide some of the planes. Have a look at it. Let's change the view a little bit so we've got shading with edges. I think this is looking pretty good. Let's change the color. Change the view, appearance, more appearances, and then we can change whatever color we want. Let's see for this one. Let's have a sort of purpley pink color. Close, and then we can paint that part. Just click and then press the middle mouse button. Okay, so we've got that part done. Moment of truth, let's check the volume. Set tools, no, analysis, sorry. Measure, and then a volume. Okay, so we've got 485.94. Okay, pretty much that's perfect for what's needed. Okay, so once you've completed it, make sure you save it. So just click the save icon at the top, click OK, and your part's saved. And uh, so good luck with uh, Model Lens Component.